Hi folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Spy vs. Spy, another NES game that I own and uh, am playing currently on my PC. Can't wait to get back into it. This is the first time I've played Spy vs. Spy since... Oh gosh, I can't even tell you. <laughs> it's been many, many, many years, you know, since the dinosaurs roamed the earth and all that jazz. It's true, the dinosaurs used to have electricity, and they'd plug in their NES, and anyway. Um... So what is this game about? Well, uh, it's a two-player game. You can play against the AI as the uh, white spy if you want to, and the computer will be the black spy. You're trying to get four items, and the computer's playing by itself right now. I'm not doing anything. Um, you're trying to get four items and escape through the exit. Now, you can set four different traps. You can set a bomb and put it inside a object like a bookcase or painting and when the, your opponent goes to explore it or you for that matter uh, it'll blow up and you'll die and you'll lose some time you'll notice that there's a timer ticking down for both players whenever you die you lose 30 seconds power is how much health you have uh the other traps the other is a spring trap it, it works like a bomb where whenever you open something up you go flying backward and die as well um there's also a bucket of electric water or whatever it is it's uh or you can put over top a door a closed door uh, on the very bottom there you can see black just died from that and then finally there's a time bomb which you just put in the center of the room and if you're in the room for too long uh you know after you come back into it or anyone comes back into it uh your face will turn blue like this again black just demonstrated it for me perfectly so let's go jump into it we'll hit enter i think it is i'm still getting used to the controls on the keyboard um so we'll go ahead and do versus computer, and, um, yeah, I guess we'll get, stick to level one. Enter. All right. Now, I don't know what the controls are. I think comma and period are, yeah, okay. So comma switches. So you can switch between your different traps with comma, and at least with my emulator. And then this is the map. There's only six rooms. All right, so I'm going to explore this. Okay, that's period. Okay, so period does that. I can pick up an umbrella to prevent from being rained on by that acid or whatever it is. And if we meet up in the same room, we end up going into combat mode, which we fight each like, like that. We just punch each other like this until one of us dies. Oh, we can find swords and the like, uh, or daggers to help us. Oops, I just, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's uh, put a time bomb in this room. All right, let's explore. Oh, I found money, but we need a satchel. All right. Okay, I'm going to put that there because I know where it is. Oh, there he is again. All right, I need to get out of here. I'm losing power. Okay, he has the satchel. Yeah, I don't want to run out of power and then... If I run out of power, I die, and it's a bad thing. Whoop! Time bomb, time bomb! Get out of there! Ow! Oh, I said I put that there, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I'm off to a good start. Looks like the computer's gonna win. He's got two of the four items already, and the satchel. You can sort of cheat a little bit, like, you can see where he is. I know there's a dagger and stuff. Uh, no, no, I, I put a bomb in that. Oh, nothing there. Nothing there. Where is everything at? There's my money. Okay, that, that's this, this, ooh, I blew him up. Okay, so if I go to that room, it should be here now. Yep, there's everything. All right, now I know that the money bag is here. There it is. And if I can just get to the exit before he notices. And I'm out. There we go. So I got all four. Um, I didn't really do anything to trap him. <laughs> I was running away but forgot the goods. And again, I have the sound completely off. There is, like, back in the day, there was no way to separate music from sound. It's just volume. So um, I don't know if it's protected under copyright. Or not. It shouldn't be. There should be no copyrighted music here, but you never know. Uh, let's go with level two. And you can see the rooms are slightly different. There's more of them as well. All right. Oh, what's this box? I don't remember. Okay, it's just something to explore. All right, I found that. All right, so I'm going to put that there. Keep it there. All right, uh, 
where am I at? I am on the bottom right. Okay. And black is... So I'm trying to put... Oh, there's my... There's the dagger. Oh. All right. Now, my dagger will do more damage to him if I can just hit him with it. There we go. He's dead. All right. I just put a trap there and a trap there just to see if I can kill him. Oh, what is this thing? I don't think I know what that thing does. Oh, he's going to he's going to trap that door. That little bugger. It's all right. I'll trap this room. That door's shut. I don't like that. Actually, oh, oh, oh I tried to booby trap that room. If I do this, I can set the trap off. Yep. Now I don't, okay, now I don't need the umbrella. My the umbrella protected me from that acidic rain or whatever it is. All right, I'm in the very middle. All right, he just What's he booby trapping? Okay, so the exit is where top left-hand corner. All right, let's booby trap that door. Oh, he found one. I got my dagger still. Although I'm low on power. Oh, I'm dead. I almost had him. I need to booby trap more so I can... get around unimpeded. Okay, so... Let's see. There's some blue dots on the map. I'm assuming... Yeah, one. Oh, he must have fell from my trap. There's one here. There must be something there as well. One, two. Okay, so there's two items in this room. I'm going to booby trap. Oh, wait, he's coming from the top. I'm also going to booby trap that there. And... All right, so now he can't get back. Okay, I got tweezers. Oh, something happened. I'm not exactly sure what the tweezers do. I think that's to, to if there's a spring trap or a bomb or something, I think that's to, to stop. All right, let's get rid of that. Ooh. Is that a shopping bag? I think it is. Sort of like the satchel. Oh, I, babe, I booby-trapped this. <laughs> forgot. Gosh, stuff. That's right. It should be... Whenever something, uh, if you're holding something and you die, it'll respawn somewhere in that room. At least if I remember correctly. Alright, well, let's get back in there. And it should be, there's one. Okay, no it didn't. Okay, so I have to go back for it then. Like, I forget what I've done and then... Okay, I got that. Okay. Ha! Alright, his time is now over. So now I've got free reign of the level. I gotta find everything now. What, what happened to these things? Is there anything in here? I gotta find... I gotta find all four items. Unless this is for something else. Maybe that's not a satchel. Maybe that, that was because those traps weren't showing up. I need to find the damn satchel. Come on. I only got 45 seconds. Uh, I found I found a passport. Big whoop. That's not helping. Okay. Um satchel, satchel. Satchel. Ah. One, two. All right, uh, all right, two, t okay, so I need to get, uh, 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 what happened to my satchel? Oh, I just, I just, <laughs> I get my buttons confused. All right, well, I'm dead. So there you go, Spy vs. Spy for the NES, pretty fun game. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.